Hi, I'm Mark Marone. Welcome to pet keeping. Wait till you meet my new feline friends. You could say they're earmarked for affection. They're American Curls, a relatively new cat breed that's known for its loving, playful personality. You'll love them. Have you ever seen a cat whose ears curl back like this? They're super cute. This is Dee Dee, and Dee Dee is an American Curl. This is one of the newest cat breeds that are out there. It fascinates me because, you see, cats have been domesticated for thousands of years, but it's only been in the last 30 years or so that breeders have really started selectively breeding these spontaneous mutations, such as these curled back ears that popped up in litters from time to time, creating new breeds of domestic cats. Now, these American curls, this is the mama, she's Dee Dee, and we have Dude, Diamonds, Flashy, and Bonnie. And they're having a good time with the toys. Those are all her babies here. And these were bred by Carolyn Scott and Michael Tucker from New York City, who graciously brought them out here. The whole story is fascinating because it came about from one cat. In June of 1981, a long-haired black female street kitten with unusually shaped ears like this strolled onto the front porch of Joe and Grace Ruga in Lakewood, California. Now, as you can imagine, anybody who sees a cat like this, you immediately smile. She was irresistible. So they kept her as a pet, and they named her Shulamith. Now, within a year, she had kittens, and amazingly enough, two of the kittens had the same backward curving ears as their mother did. So geneticists said, well, this is a dominant mutation which is odd because most mutations are recessive. In other words, if an animal has a mutation such as this, its kittens would have the genes for the mutation but would not necessarily show that. However, this is dominant, which means that the kittens actually will have it. Now, in 1986, they were recognized by the International Cat Association, that's Tika, as a breed to compete for championship status. And in 1993, these cats were recognized by the Cat Fancers Association, or CFA. Now, true American curls all must trace their ancestry back to Shulamith. That means that the line has to go all the way back to the original founder who walked into those people's backyard in California. Now, although the ears look like they were set by curling irons, obviously they're not. When the kittens are born, the ears are perfectly straight, and then in three to five days, they start to curl back to an arc of 90 to 180 degrees, and it varies a bit from cat to cat. Some cats have ears that curl back more than others. But in my opinion, the cutest thing about them is that the ear curl forces the inner hairs, the inner guard hairs inside the ears to flare out. I call them little angel wings on them. The ears curl and uncurl until about four months old when they set permanently. And don't worry if the ears seem a bit large in proportion to the head. The head will grow into the ears by the time the kittens grow up. And unlike other cat ears, which are soft and supple, the curl's cartilage is very firm. It's kind of like our ears. It doesn't feel like a cat's ears at all. Now, in addition to the ears, the breeders strive to breed the cats that have a rectangular body with a silky flat coat and walnut-shaped eyes that are very, very expressive and intense. Look at these eyes. They're as pretty as my eyes. And as you see, they can come in all different color patterns. Little Bonnie Blue is the blue tabby. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at this. This is the prettiest guy. And back there, we have that cameo that's flashy. And the cameo color means that when you blow on her fur, you'll see white at the base and just the tips are cream. As she gets older and the fur gets longer, the white is even more evident. Now diamonds, as in diamonds are a curl's best friend, you get it? Is a red tabby female. You can see she's a darker red than flashy. And dude, last but not least, this dude. Look at him, he's a real dude. He's the boy of the bunch. Yankee Dude Curl Dandy is his full name. And he's a brown tabby with a white mask on his face, paws, and belly. And Dee Dee, the mommy cat here, is three years old. And she She's that torty and white color. She has white on her face, legs, and belly, just like her son, Dude. Now, American curls can come in long hair or short hair. These guys are all the long hair, and the long hairs are known everywhere and the most easy to find since the first foundation cat was also a long-haired cat. The short hair breeders are mostly on the West Coast and in Europe. Now, obviously, if you look at the dude playing with his toys, you see their personality of the American curls. They're the Peter Pans of cats. They keep their kitten-like personalities throughout their life. Curls are people cats with none of the aloofness that some cats have. They have a lot of moxie, like a typical street cat would have. In fact, they like to be in the thick of things. They're quite playful, and they can even be taught to play fetch. And they get along very well with children. They're all soft and cuddly, and they're just perfect for sitting in your lap. They're not very noisy. They don't talk much like a Siamese cat does. They just tend to watch what's going on before voicing their opinion in the form of a chirping, sort of like a cheetah or a lynx would do. They have very, very little undercoat. 
So shedding is not too big an issue with them, and they need to be brushed about once every week. Now these guys are so laid back, they'll even let you clip the nails, play with the paws, whatever you want to do with them. They're just an easy going, all American cat. Thanks to Carolyn and Michael for bringing their beautiful cats here to visit us at Pet Keeping. And thank you, Didi, for being so patient and looking at me with those big green eyes. Mwah. For more information on these cats, you can log on to our website at petkeeping.com.